Josh's recordings. Today we're going to be refilming some speakers. I already did one. I haven't glued this on yet because I want to make sure there's enough glue. So pretty much, this is what you're looking for. So, I'm going to get the other one, which I haven't done yet. And I've ordered a kit from Simply Speakers. So, they come with these, these nice instructions here. So that's real nice of them. So pretty much you clean up real nice. You grab your foam surround. Make sure everything fits, eyeball it. Then, because these are behind mount speakers, you start pushing the surround onto the speaker cone. Like so. It's not that hard. And you start pulling up around the surround. Then, what I do is since these speakers came with these rings here, I push the ring on, then push down the cone, and if there's no rubbing, that means I did it right. <laughs> so, now what you do is you get your, your tube of glue right here, and it actually is a speaker adhesive, so it really smells. Um, and you, what you do is make sure that your surround is located correctly. So, this is time consuming, but it's better to do it correctly than wait 10 years for your surround, uh, well actually it probably takes, wait 15 years for your foam surround to rot again, and have to do it again. Now, what you do is you unscrew the little glue, um, little glue and it's amazing how much actually is in this little shoot. And try not to have that happen. You wipe it up immediately. I'm not, probably not supposed to use my hand, but I don't really have a paper towel on me right now. And like I said, you gotta wipe it up immediately because it dries. And you don't want to dry into your surround. But actually, I'm not very happy that that happened. But it shows you that errors can happen. And that you only get one shot making it look pretty. So let's open it away from the speaker this time. This is why the dangers of videotaping people you get mess up. So you put it in there and just apply a little bit of pressure and do a bead around the speaker cone. The first time you glue these speakers down, there's never, it's never going to be perfect. You're going to have to wipe up the excess glue and also, since you're not a machine, also you're going to have to turn the speaker over because these are back mount speakers. So you turn the speaker over and push the surround back. You have to do that for about five minutes, so I'll stop the video. Okay, so we've let the uh, glue around this outside dry, and now we got a pretty nice cone. As you can see, if we push back on it, no rubbing. <laughs> um, so, now what's next is we need to put glue around here. So pretty much how we're going to do that is we're going to take this, we're just going to go make an even bead around there. So, we'll get started with that. Now, 
I might note that actually, actually before we do that, we're going to go around the cone and push down on it. Put down, push down the fabrics around, or I mean, the foams around. Check for any locations that might require some more glue. And on my last one, there was one, and this one doesn't seem like there's any. That's great. Getting better at this. Now, <laughs> so, I mean, these are the first two speakers I've ever done this on. So now we're just going to open up our glue and work around here, making a nice even bead around the outside of the speaker. speaker. Now put the cap back on the glue. Now what we're just going to do is just going to press it, the foam surround down on it. For some reason it peels away from the glue. The best way that I know is since these speakers come with a ring, place the ring onto the foam surround and press down. This will cause the glue to adhere to the foam the surround and push down on the speaker while you're doing this to make sure that everything's lined up. As you can see it is. So you're going to have to work this. Just go around and around because the foam peels back up really quickly. So, just go around and around for about 10 minutes. This is time consuming and very boring. But, like I said, you get one chance at this. Let's go to buy another speaker. So, you might as well do it correctly because you can't redo it after it's done. While the other speaker is drying, I just decided to put um, glue this piece on. So what I'm gonna do is pretty much use the same glue that I use for everything else, and as you can see, we are getting low. I just run a bead around. So I'll have to use some other kind of glue for the other speaker. But now we're just going to lay this on in the glue and finish push it down. And as you can see, pretty much done with this speaker. Just let that glue cure. Another thing I did was that I put a little label on it so if anybody ever has to repair the speaker in the future, they will know that it has been repaired by me. Um, and I put the date on there just to let them know when it's been repaired. So pretty much, this speaker is done. I can put it back in the cabinet now, just after this glue dries. So, I'll put it back up here, on top of that speaker cabinet. And this one over here is coming out pretty good. Um, peel that off, you see that we are starting to get everything to work right. Um, the glue is curing and holding the surround down. If you press down on the speaker cone, there's no scratching. Great. Um, we'll be testing these speakers right after that glue cures. So, excellent. Well, as you can see, there's, there's one of the speakers mounted in the cabinet. It looks really nice. Let's play some music on it. See how it sounds. <laughs> Sweet. So, 
well, now I'll adjust, um, I'm going to play a tone suit. As you can see, it's not even vibrating that much. I mean, you might not be able to see that on, on um, the video. But, it really, really works. I'll give you that. That's sweet. Let's see what else we can play on it. It sounds like a little bass at the beginning. They definitely work. They sound really good too. So I think that was successful. Yeah.